Aloha, my name is... I'm not going to do double fine. It's ridiculous. <laughs>
For one, it can push your lip up too much sometimes and break the seal on your mask. Mainly, it's going to cause jaw fatigue because your mouth's just not used to having this big thing stuck inside of it all the time, right? Right. Right. <laughs> okay, let's start again. Uh, this one's kind of designed for that. We sell a lot of them to women. They, they tend to really like the snorkel because it's comfortable. Um, the main difference, though, between the AQA Bullet uh, and the AQA Goal uh, Stable or Layla is this has a flexible neck. Now, this is, I know a lot of people really like the Simple J's uh, for, for free diving um, or spear fishing. I'm lazy. I don't like to have to shoot the water out the top. I want to be able to perch the water out the bottom yeah. with very little effort. I'm already struggling to make drops as it is. So I want to end up being able to, uh, you don't even have to pinch, but I'm so lazy, I'll even pinch and blow, so it just goes right out the bottom. So um, but yeah, I got the purge valve here, just like the just like the bullet. So this one has two, this one only has one. It's got a little chamber down here that the water can kind of collect in, so you don't immediately start sucking it in if you get a little bit of water in there. Um, again, to clear it, you just blow, it goes right out the bottom. Uh, but I like that flexible neck because you can wear it multiple ways and it's not pushing or pulling on your mouth. When you get into a simple J, or, or even this one, even though it's a little flexible, if it's not sitting just right, it's not really in, you know, it's not, it's not comfortable. So um, that's why I like this one. Uh, um, and then of course it's got the really cool one finger clip that opens and closes. Now, some people think that this is a semi-dry top. Uh, it's not really a semi-dry top. It is an open top, but the way that it is, is it's got an opening one way and that way is behind you. So when waves are coming over you, you're generally going to have water come over the front of you if you're snorkeling forward or the waves are coming at you. Yeah. So it's going to go around the snorkel rather than down down the snorkel. Um, you actually see that in, like on the, the west coast, like in Seattle, in the real rainy areas. Yeah. Chimneys always have that thing on them. So it's uh, the wind and the rain are coming. It's going to go around rather right down. So it's kind of the same, same general idea with this. Super cool snorkel. This comes in clear uh, and black and the Layla and the stable as far as the mouthpiece size. Uh, so yeah, really good one. This one's kind of my favorite. I really like the stable. All right, so we went through the Simple J and the Complicated J's. Yeah. Uh, this one looks a little expensive. Can you tell me a little bit about that guy? Uh, this is, yeah, this is the uh, Atomic SV2. Uh, and this snorkel is uh, kind of top of the line. Uh, it's got a lifetime guarantee, which is really cool. Um, and you can get mouthpieces if you ever needed to replace just the mouthpiece. It's got a super soft silicone mouthpiece to kind of help with that jaw clench. Um, again, it's got a one-way valve on the bottom. That one's, uh, uh, you know, for the purge. And what makes this one uh, unique, uh, outside of the fact that it's a semi-dry, you were asking me about this earlier. Um, so what makes this a semi-dry is that there's these slats on the top, and inside this piece here, those slats go to these openings all around this, down this way. Uh, and what that is designed to do is when the water comes in, uh, those slats are going to force that water out these holes rather than down the center of the tube. So uh, it's essentially keeping your snorkel dry, but not fully dry. Not fully dry. dry. Yeah. <laughs> so, not um, ultra dry. Not ultra dry. No, we got something to talk about the oceanic too. That one's, that one's confusing. <laughs> um, so the other really cool thing about this, and it's kind of its own patented technology, uh, is this actually has uh, what's called a scupper valve in here. And it's right in through here. And what that does is when the water comes down, when you do get water in there, because you're going to eventually get water in, it forces the water down and around the mouthpiece. So down and around, okay. ends up down here, and you're able to purge it out the bottom. So it's really keeping that, that whole thing, keeping your, your, you know, uh, keeping your mouth dry. You're not getting water in there. So you're not sucking in ocean, the ocean the whole time. Um, you can use these for free diving and spear fishing. Uh, I generally try to avoid using anything that has a restrictive top. For spear fishing or free diving, uh, I don't mind the flexible neck is comfortable. It's a really nice, comfortable uh, uh, snorkel, and I don't mind the purge either because I'm able to clear it a little easier. But I try to avoid that. But this is a great snorkel for snorkeling. You want a really nice snorkel for when you're out when you're scuba diving. You want you know a nice a nice snorkel for that. It's probably the best snorkel out there, even for light free diving. You're just kind of cruising around, playing around. Um, so it's yeah, it's one of the top of the line snorkels for sure, um, and it comes in all different kinds of colors. Um, yeah, super good one. The, the clip's fairly fairly easy. It's a, it's a little quick release clip that you can pull on and off. So you can take it on and off your mouse real easy. So, but yeah, yeah, it's the Atomic SV2. And we got we got a lot of these in different colors down here. It's been hard to get in, but yeah. All right, so we went through the semi-dries. Tell me about this Ultra semi-dry. 
Yeah, so the oceanic, that's that's a little confusing. Um, actually, I didn't, I, I had to kind of look into it myself. Um, it has kind of a, a weird top up here. Um, <laughs> It is, it's it's a different snorkel. I mean, it's a good snorkel, uh, but basically it, it should be a, a semi-dry. Now, I I thought it was an ultra-dry initially because the name of it is Ultra, but it's called the Ultra SD, which stands for semi-dry. So it's a real ultra semi-dry. It's still a semi-dry. So it's, there are snorkels called the ultra-dry, and those have a little float at the very top. Mm -hmm. And what that's designed to do is it comes up and it blocks the water when you go under the water. I don't really like those for anything other than just hardcore snorkeling. Uh, but if you're doing spear fishing, free diving, whatever, uh, you don't want that because it's going to cause that float. When any, anytime the wave goes over, it's going to stop you from breathing, which you never want. Um, anyway, uh, so this one's the Ultra SD from Oceanic. Uh, and it's I, I what this up at the top is, um, is it's again, it's just one of those things that has slats in it. And it's designed when the water comes in, just like this guy here, designed to get the water out before it even reaches the tube. Um, I believe Ultra is just its, its model name. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's still a semi dry It's a good snorkel. It's kind of a good in-between snorkel. Again, real easy on and off clip, which is nice. Um, but yeah, flexible neck, purge valve, just like the other ones, but very similar to this. Um, it's kind of that, that middle road of, of snorkel. So it's kind of good for good for snorkeling again i wouldn't use it much for free diving and spearfishing because it is restrictive on the top so let's do some ratings all right well um out of all these snorkels uh i did i mentioned that i really like the stable um so for me i like that snorkel so we'll start with the simple j uh, and then we'll kind of work our way around uh, the evolved simple j silicone very comfortable it's flexible without being super soft yeah. smaller mouthpiece so um for simplicity and design it's like nine out of ten, I mean, ten out of ten. I and mean, there's not. It's a simple J. How yeah. how much more simple can you get? You know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's awesome. Price range is awesome. So that's a ten yeah. out of ten. It's one of our less expensive snorkels that we carry. Um, uh, yeah, the quality is awesome. It's actually made by a company based out of South Kona here. So I really like that. It's ten out of ten. So for a simple J, ten out of ten. You can use it for snorkeling, uh, and 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 you're not very good at snorkeling, or you're not very experienced at snorkeling. Uh, it might not be the one for you, uh, just because you may want to look at something that has some more more bells and whistles. Uh, but yeah, for the more experienced divers, free divers, spirit fishermen, it's awesome. So that one, I would give. I mean, honestly, for a simple jag, give it a ten out of a ten. That's yeah. yeah. I mean, and I'm I'm partial to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yes, I love are. this thing. I just bought it. Um, really amazing diver, Justin Lee uses it. That is true. World yeah. champion. Um, so I I mean. I have no complaints about it. It's it got it has everything I'd like. It's got that kind of like a more of a rigid simple J tube, so it's not like bending and losing its shape over time. So it's not gonna dip into the water. It's got a double purge, which I think is really cool, um, and it's a lot more streamlined than you might think. It is. Yeah, it's lighter. got that hydrodynamic. Uh, it kind of comes to a point in the yeah. back. So yeah, real yeah. hydro hydrodynamic. Open top too, which yeah. I think uh, is awesome for spear fishing and free diving. Yeah. And uh, one thing I will say is. The mouthpiece is almost too comfortable. <laughs> it's almost, it's okay. almost too comfortable. Uh, I love it so much. It? It, fits, <laughs> it fits perfectly. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe that's just me. It's gonna be different for you guys, um, but that's why I'm partial. I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, for what it is, I, I would kind of go that route too. I know a lot of people use it, so um, I guess the stable uh, would be the next one or the Layla uh, flexible neck. Um, it does have this top on it, easy to open. Uh, man, I'm trying to think of, of any negatives about it, really. Uh, there's not much. It still has that hydrodynamic design, purge valve, two different size mount pieces that you can interchange. Um, because I love it, I'm a, I, I rock this one. Uh, I don't know if I mean I'd have to go again. I. It sounds kind of goofy going 10 out of 10 and all these snorkels like, but uh, I, I like it to the point where I would probably rate it that. Yeah. I think we'll get to one that's not 10 out of 10. Yeah. If it was, I guess we'll say nine and a half out of 10, because if it was, uh, if it was like five bucks or something, it might make it a, a 11 out of 10. But yeah, totally worth the money. Um, I like that snorkel. So yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Let's go to the for the Atomic. So the Atomic, uh, it's hard to beat um, lifetime guarantee. Uh, that is something that I don't think any other snorkel that I know of has. Uh, flexible neck, 
Uh, it's got the really the patent the technology for spear fishing and free diving. I, I eight out of ten, and the only reason it has those slats, uh, it's not that I I would rather have an open top. And you might get a little bit of wobble with that. That's a good that's, point, and actually that's why this this is kind of a, a unique snorkel. I think a lot of people like that one uh, more than the flexible next is because yeah. when you're coming up from a drop and it's out of your mouth coming up and it, it starts to get that wobble because of the neck so uh yeah but eight out of ten uh but lifetime guarantee so for snorkeling 10 out of 10 yeah. i mean you can't so, really uh, go wrong with it it's got you know not going to get much water in your mouth comfortable lifetime guarantee semi-dry not letting water in so uh yeah definitely 10 out of 10 for snorkeling free diving spear fishing eight out of ten yeah still a great snorkel though i highly recommend it um yeah I guess no, we got there. this ultra semi drive from Oceanic. I personally don't have any complaints other than that it's confusing. <laughs> I've never name. I've never used it. Oh. Um, it it almost looks like it's just completely closed, but as you see there, there's a little bit of gappage, so you can breathe out of the snorkel. Um, I don't got a lot of complaints. Um, I just think the name is a little bit uh, confusing. A little yeah. bit confusing. Uh, again, I think. For what it's designed for, if you're using it for strictly snorkeling, awesome. Yeah. Purge, flexible neck, comfortable, um, semi-dry. Yeah. Uh, easy to get off clip. Spear fishing or free diving, again, I'd probably drop that down a couple points just because just because of the top. Yeah. Uh, but it's good for what it's designed for. I wouldn't recommend it too much for, for you know, hardcore free diving or some or some poking fish. We'll give it a good nine out of ten. We'll have to try it and then yeah, we can kind of give you a better idea. That's true. Uh, Sorry, Oshima. Anyway. We'll, we'll yeah. try it out. So guys, thank you for joining us on our snorkel review. Thank you, Connor, for joining me as always. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't be able to make these videos without you. Um, but yeah, anything to say? Yeah, thanks for thanks for having me as always. Uh, subscribe and like always. I mean, you got to do that if you want to yeah. see more videos. Otherwise, we don't know if you're even watching. So yeah, uh, like and subscribe down below. Keep your eye out for more videos. We're gonna do some more when it comes to gear. Uh, I'm always stoked when new stuff comes out, and we'll get some new videos out there. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And, uh, yeah, come on down anytime you're in Kona to Kona Honey Divers. Talk story. I, I like to talk. Yeah, uh, yeah, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Right on, guys. Well, thank you so much. Mahalo. See you later. See you in the next one.